Heavy rain is creating major problems in Connecticut, and officials are fearful the situation will get worse. I'm Gerald Bentley with worldwide news from the National Black Network in New York. More than seven inches of rain has already belted Connecticut. More is expected. More than a thousand have been forced to evacuate their homes. Three are missing. A civil defense spokesman says several dams have already failed, and four more are showing stress. The situation is growing more tense in new fighting between Israel and the PLO. The Israelis have launched an air, sea, and land invasion of southern Lebanon. More from correspondent Vincent Sadowski in the midst of the war zone near Sidon, Lebanon. As Israeli tank columns push north from the area of Lebanon they invaded this morning, their planes are bombing the area around the southern coastal city of Sidon. Palestinian anti-aircraft batteries have opened up on them, but the planes seem to be hitting positions just beyond the city of Sidon in the hills. However, some of the coastal batteries are in densely populated parts of Sidon, and large numbers of people are fleeing the area, moving north towards Beirut. Cups of black smoke are exploding over Sidon as the planes pass over, and the Palestinians open up with their anti-aircraft guns. The Israeli planes are releasing heat-seeking balloons that draw away the SAM missiles that the Palestinians are firing. Vincent Shadowski, Sidon, Lebanon. This is NBN Worldwide News. Have you been turned down or denied benefits under the Social Security $22 billion a year disability benefits program? Well, don't be discouraged. That happens to most people who apply today. Have you asked for a reconsideration of your disability benefits? Again, don't be discouraged because that's the way the disability system works. But if you call Cranus and Simon, your chances of winning will swing sharply around in your favor. And most of the time, we'll represent you, in most cases, for no advance attorney fees. For your Social Security claims, call the law office of Cranus and Simon, 861-0240. That number again, 861-0240. The big civil rights march to Washington is continuing to push northward from the south. Marchers are nearing Eddington, North Carolina. There they will be joined by the Reverend Joseph Lowry later today of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference to participate in a rally. Meanwhile, March leaders say they will not leave North Carolina until one of their members, the Reverend James Orange, is released from police custody. Orange is wanted there on a 1973 warrant stemming from participating in a civil rights demonstration. He was arrested yesterday, March coordinator Golden Franks tells us. The pilgrims came all the way from Carlson, Alabama. We arrived in the, in the state of North Carolina just about a couple of weeks ago. We get in here and they arrest our national coordinator. We believe this is a racist act and that we want him to be free. Yeah. The, the SBI arrested him yeah. and made it impossible for us to get what we call a bond for the delivers of him to us. The two-day economic summit attended by seven world leaders in Versailles, France, has ended. A communique is due to be released later today on details of what took place. President Reagan was among those attending the summit. He moves on to Bonn, West Germany. Meanwhile, back on the Israeli PLO fighting, Mr. Reagan was joined by the other six world leaders in Versailles, calling for an immediate ceasefire. President Reagan has also ordered the evacuation of American personnel from the U.S. Embassy in Beirut. National Black Network Worldwide News. Hi, this is Chubby Checker asking you to twist with me to protect young children. Twist your wrist to make sure child-resistant caps on medicine and household products are resealed tightly. The extra twist could save a child's life. A public service message from the Closure Manufacturers Association with the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Democratic Senator William Proxmire has expressed a gloomy outlook surrounding the hospital care costs. The Wisconsin lawmaker says unless runaway hospital costs are controlled, total expenditures for this year could hit $100 billion. Proxmire has called upon President Reagan and Congress to warn the hospital industry it can expect firm and decisive federal action unless it moves to help out. He says if something is not done, the Medicare trust fund will be broke by 1988. This is Worldwide News, a service of the National Black Network. I'm Gerald Bentley.